check. During my visit in Jensen, I've met new friends along the way and one of those actually became a finalist of the Philippine Coffee Brewer League. That is Sir James. Um, Sir James is the owner of Mata Coffee Roastery and he gave me this. This is Ethiopia Irga Chef Wubanchi Heirloom Supernatural. We're gonna brew this. We're gonna do like a quick brew of this um, Wubanchi and let's go this is roasted august 26 so yeah we're still good oh wow it's very floral this will be an easy recipe so you can actually follow it at home so we're gonna do 13 grams and we're gonna grind it at around 16 or 17 clicks Yes, and we're gonna use an Aurea V4. It smells a lot like pineapple. So the water that we're using today is 93 degrees Celsius. And the setting on my Comandante is 17 clicks. We're using an Aurea V4 with the apex bottom using a conical paper filter. And the water that I'm using is around 80 to 90 ppm. Calibrate um, coffee mineral water. Oh, wow. That smells so good. The thing with Ethiopia coffees, they're very floral and they're very fruity. That's why a lot of people are very um, fond of them. Yeah, so for the first pour, I did 30 ml. And then for my second pour, I'm going up to 100 ml. Just pour normally and in circular pattern. Then after your second pour, you shake the bed. Um, you can also do this in your um, V60 using all the same parameters. Okay, and then on the third pour, we're gonna do up to 150 ml. Now we're gonna pour slowly. And at this point, try not to disturb the bed as much. And then at two minutes, we're gonna pour the last 50 ml. The timing on every pour is separated by 30 seconds. Right, and then at 2.30, we're done. I told you, this is going to be a quick brew. Right? So first, let's try and um, smell the aroma. It's so fruity, no? I couldn't even... I just can't pinpoint what fruits I'm smelling. But with the dry aroma, it's a lot like pineapple. Okay, um, let's try. Oh wow, that is so good. I'm not sure if we can still buy some from Sir James, but it is so good. Um, it's very bright. Um, you can get some notes of stone fruit there and and the aftertaste is kind of like sweet pineapple. I'm not sure with what I'm tasting, but yeah, that's what I'm getting right now. A nice acidity, nice brightness to it. I really like how the stone fruits um, shape the whole profile of the coffee. You can use this um, recipe at home with whatever coffee you may have right now. You may not get the same results, of course, if unless we have the same exact beans but yeah it's a fairly easy recipe so if you want to 
brew coffee early in the morning and you're still not in the zone yet, <laughs> this is a very easy recipe to do. Um, for now, I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye! Sir James, thank you ulit. Thank you for the coffee. It's sarap. It's so good. Um, I hope to see you soon again. I will be traveling to Iloilo for the Iloilo Coffee Festival. See you there.